Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy X.E.L.O. Oh, welcome back to the channel. Thank you. Yes, you. Thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit the bell notification so I'll let you know when I drop another video. Today, I'm going to be going over a feature that I kind of really enjoy inside of Traction Waveform. It's the option to actually listen to your sounds straight from the welcome page. So let's get into it I'll show you how it's actually set up. It usually does it automatically, but so if you, if it's something that you don't like, I'm gonna show you how to actually turn it off. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Traction Waveform and this is what it usually looks like. So you'll have your recent edits, you'll have your project templates, your news feed and your training videos, your new projects down here, project, your browse all projects, demo song settings and about. So on this left hand side where it says recent projects, as you can see, like there's like little waveforms in here. So if you've actually created something inside of Traction Waveform, it'll actually save it. So if I hit here, I can know exactly what I did on this uh, recent item or recent project. Right. And if I go to this one, that one was really weird as you can hear, but yeah, so it does give you the option to actually do this. So if you are looking for a project, this gives you a really quick and easy way to actually pull up that project so you can see exactly which one you actually want to do. So let's say not all your projects are here. You can go to browse all projects, right? So if you click on a uh, project, it'll have the waveform in there. Right? So all of these, um, if you've done anything in them should have a waveform in there. Right? So, this is another way to actually pull up your tracks so you can hear exactly what you have done in the project itself. So let's say that you didn't want to do this, which I'm not sure why you wouldn't want to do it, I guess to save space. Um, or if you have like a really, really big project, you wouldn't want everything to be kind of saved. Uh, I can understand that if it's like really long, but I mean, other than that, I don't see why um, you wouldn't do it, especially if you're just creating tracks so you can kind of hear exactly which beat you're looking for. Uh, if you're not sure which one you're supposed to be looking for. <laughs> All right. So in order to actually set this up, you want to go to your settings. Uh, and once you're in settings, you go down here to general, right? And of course you have a lot of settings inside of this DAW. Um, I like a lot of the things that they've added in here. As you can see, I changed my fonts on here just because I didn't like the other one. It was like really thin uh, to me. So I actually changed it. Uh, in order to change your fonts, you want to go to appearance and then you go right here to uh, look and feel and it has fonts. So I changed mine to Arial. Uh, so whatever fonts you have on your computer, you should usually pull up and you can see all of them over here and you can even go back to your default if you want to. Right? So, um, I think that that was really good. Um, the reason I kind of did it was so I can see these words underneath there. You see like the words in the black box. Uh, they were really thin and small and like I was really having a hard time seeing them. So I wanted to change that, um, shout outs to the, uh, Facebook group. Um, somebody was saying you can change it in the, in the, the fonts. So I was able to do that. So, uh, if you want to go back to general, I'm sorry, let's get on topic. <laughs> so you go into general, right? Uh, and once you go in general, you want to scroll down, you have this option for save settings. So you could automatically back up your entire project, which I highly suggest to do so uh just in case uh the dog crashes for any reason you'll still have it backed up and saved um enable auto save so it'll automatically save your uh edits anytime you do like an edit or anything like that it'll automatically save it inside of the DAW, which is really good as well you don't have to do this but it is something that i would suggest that you actually do just because it does help if you lose anything. And this is the one right here. So generate audio preview files automatically. So if you uncheck this, it won't actually create those files automatically. So if you're making a beat or you're doing a project, it's going to be saving all these things all at the same time. And even when you close a project out, it's going to render it out. And so you can go back and hear it later on. So I thought that was really, really cool.
right? And you get this when closing in edit, you can ask it to save uh, or always save. I put it on ask it to save because you don't always want to save everything um, that you do. But I felt that was a really, really cool option that they gave inside of Traction Waveform. There's a lot of other little trinkets and ideas that they have in here that I think are really, really cool. So if you haven't already, go grab it, uh, get your hands on it. Traction Waveform 13, they have a free version. I am using the pro version. So some of the things um, that I may show on future videos will require you to have the pro version or at least have some of the bundles that they actually come with from the website. So. If you want to actually continue that, let me know. If you have a specific traction waveform video that you want me to do, please leave that below in the comment section. I'm going to be doing a lot more traction waveform videos on this channel. So with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this one. I just wanted to show you that really quick, cool feature I felt was really good and important to actually know uh, for traction waveform 13. So with that being said, that's the end of this one. Make sure you guys are liking and subscribing to the channel. And once again, this your boy, x.e.l.o. Till next time, people. Peace.